I'm going to show you how to uh, make starch, starch a rough, and then set a rough. Um, so first we need to make the starch, which is very much like making instant custard. First we take a spoonful of the starch, and if you buy one of our rough kits, this will come in with the ingredients. You put a spoon in and then just a bit of cold water, just enough to make a paste a spoon. So as I say, it's very much like making custard. So you just want to mix the dry powder in with the water until you get a smooth kind of wet paste. Like that. And then we'll stick the kettle on. just going to pour the hot water onto the starch and mix it at the same time like custard. So yeah it's mixed up. Consistency is a bit like wallpaper paste or um, thinnish custard. And at the moment it's boiling hot, so what we'll do is we'll just let that cool down a little bit. And while we're waiting for it to cool, I'll just finish um, washing the roughs ready to be starched. So I've got my washed rough here. It's still wet, just been washed in ordinary laundry detergent. And I'm just going to fold it up so that it will fit inside this bowl. And what I want to do is just dip the actual rough frill into the starch without getting lots of starch on the neck band, because if the neck band gets full of starch, it will also be very stiff and very difficult to pin or tack into a garment. So I'm just going to work the starch through the gathers and pleats of the rough. So it's all covered. And then squeeze out the excess. Like that. And I also have here some very small wrist ruffs, very modest, kind of 1570s style, not much more than a small frill. I just want to dip those in a little bit of starch as well while I've got it going. And then this is a partlet, which I definitely don't want to starch. I just want to starch the frill part on that as well. So to dry these, um, this partlet and uh, wrist ruffs that don't need to be really stiffly starched, I'm just going to hang on the line outside because there's a little bit of sunshine now and that will dry okay. But this big 1590 style rough, I want to dry really hard and crisp, so I'm actually going to put it in the oven. So to prepare it for going in the oven, I'm going to put some safety pins into the neck band. I'm going to put four in because it's quite a long rough. Like this. 
And then come with me, put it in the oven. So I'm just going to use the safety pins to pin onto the oven tray. This is the only reason I get my oven cleaned, by the way. I probably wouldn't bother otherwise, but if you're going to starch rubs in your oven, you do want it to be clean. And even though it's been cleaned, I'm careful not to allow it to touch the edges of the oven. So that's on. And it's only once I've pinned it onto the shelf that I'm going to turn the oven on, because I have made the mistake before turning the oven on and then trying to pin the rough, it's not a good idea. So I'm just going to put it, it's a fan oven, so just put it on the very lowest setting because it's basically going to act like a big hair dryer. So I'm just going to check this uh, at kind of five minute intervals and keep separating the uh, gathers and the fabric apart because if you allow it to dry like that without separating it, the starch will stick everything together. Um, so I'll just keep rearranging it, but it doesn't take long to dry, it'll probably to be about 15-20 minutes. So this feels pretty dry now. Yeah, papery dry. So I can take it out and move on to the next stage. So here's the dry rough. It's all crinkly wrinkly and we have to iron that out to get to the next stage. <laughs> 